Hi, it's the Snowman and welcome to another very exciting video from SNO Multimedia. Today, we're going to check out Guns for Gals. No, that's not it. I know I've got it in here. Uh, this is not it. I'm not making enough money on the blog, the Survival News Online blog. I consulted with a friend of mine who's a marketing specialist and he checked out the demographics. It's mostly men reading my website. And the problem with that is that men don't buy anything on the internet. 80 to 90% of all purchases done on the internet are done by women. So I got to thinking, you know, my wife carries a gun. Uh, both my sisters carry a gun. My mother-in-law carries a gun. Uh, all the women I know carry guns. My problem is I haven't been showing you what guns girls like. But all that is about to change right before your very eyes. No, that's not it. Uh, let's see. Nope. Hang on. I know I've got it in here. Nope. Did I put them in here? Got another little pocket here. Uh, this is not it. You gotta get one of these bags. Oh! They're in my pocket. Got this little thing and this little thing right here. This is the Ruger LCP and this is the SIG P238 SAS model. These are the guns that uh, the ladies carry in the family until recently. I've started carrying one of them. It's a great gun for a lady, but it's a great gun for a guy too. I got this Crimson Trace laser for it. When you grip the gun, the laser comes on. Highly visible. Both of these are 380 caliber, 9 millimeter short, 380 is the same thing. It's 9 millimeters in diameter, just a little less powder. It's not going to have the firepower of a 45, but it's going to have some firepower and it's all in your pocket. This thing runs about 9 ounces without the ammo. The SIG runs about 15 ounces. It's a little heavier. On the street, the Ruger LCP costs about $300. The SIG costs about $700. There's a lot of difference in how they're built. For a lady, this slide is going to be a little harder to pull back. It's got a stiffer spring in it because the slide itself is lighter than the one on the SIG. When the cartridge fires, it's going to kick the slide back and the slide is going to push in a new round into the chamber. So the slide has to cycle all the way back and then all the way forward. If the spring is too stiff, it's not going to cycle back far enough to load another round in the chamber. The heavier the slide, the lighter the spring. The heavier the slide, the easier it's going to be to load one in the chamber. That's good for the ladies to know. This one's going to weigh a little more, but it's going to be easier for her to operate the slide. You just have to grip it a little tighter and pull but it is gonna make some difference if you've got weak hands. The trigger is really nice. It's a SIG, dehorned and smoothed and rounded. Feels good in the hand. The Ruger LCP is a lot of bang for the buck because for 300 bucks, you can be into a 380. The SIG is just an outstanding little gun. Fantastic engineering. I know you're gonna ask me which one I prefer and uh, with either one of these guns, you can have some firepower in your pocket. Your wife or your sister or your mom would love one of these for Christmas. The SIG is the better gun, but if your budget is in the $300 range, then you're gonna want the Ruger. If money is an object, uh, go for the little black gun here. If you've got 700 bucks, go for the SIG. Ruger LCP, SIG P238. Either one of them is good for a girl to carry, but it's also good for a guy to carry. Get one of these. You'll love it.